Steph and I am here this week to talk about my job in the music industry and how I got it. Um, I have a lot of people that DM me all the time ever since I got my job asking me a bunch of questions about how I got it and yeah so this is just going to be a quick video about how I got my job in the music industry and I'm going to try to answer some of the questions that people have asked but if you have like any follow-up questions I'm going to do a QA and a video so just like comment the questions below, DM me on Instagram yeah so just first things first how i got my job in the music industry um or like why i even wanted to be in the music industry etc etc for me i a lot of you know but some of you may not whoever sees this in the future you probably won't but so i graduated college december 2017 and i graduated with a journalism major um the only thing i knew for sure is that i knew i wanted to be in la and i had an internship with a a uh, media agency called starcom the summer beforehand i knew i was going to get a full-time offer i was just waiting on it as soon as i got it I was like, yes, because I want to come back to LA and I love the work atmosphere. I actually love Starcom LA. So if you want questions about that, maybe I'll make a video about how to get an internship or a job there in the future. Um, but so yeah, I had that job and but I knew it wasn't something I wanted to do for the rest of my life just because I can't do something that I don't wake up excited about and I didn't wake up excited about it every day. So I would just think like, hmm, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? And I would just one day I was just like, huh, I think that God wants me in the music industry because my dad has produced music locally all of my life. Um, I had a stint where I thought I was a rapper at one point in my life. Yeah, I'm not the average, but Erica is a savage. Now I see the max scream and Erica is the best. Oh my God. Um, everybody in my family does something with music or has done something with music at some point in their lives. Um, and then as soon as I moved to LA, the only people that I met outside of my coworkers were in the dance industry, which has to do with music, or were songwriters, producers, singers, rappers, some, like that's literally all that I met. That's all the opportunities I had, that was all that I was around. So I'm like, hmm, I feel like this is for a reason. Like everything in my life is very coincidental. So I was like, God, what you trying to tell me? And then I started like just really looking into options. Um, I talked to one of the people I knew that was a songwriter and a producer and confided in him and told him that I was thinking about making that change. And he was just like so willing to help. He started linking me with um, a and he knew and stuff just to like talk to them, get to know them, whatever, ask questions. So that's what I did. I started DMing um, a &Rs and managers and writing them on LinkedIn and Instagram. I even wrote an EVP of a label on Instagram and he wrote me back. Shout out to him, not gonna say his name, but he's loyal. Um, so I was like just doing all this stuff, applying. I applied to so many jobs, it's insane. I didn't think I was gonna get a job as soon as I did, um, but I was applying to jobs like crazy. And then one friend, I know I shout him out all the time, if you're in the music industry, you know Wallace. So um, Wallace had posted on an Instagram story about a job as an, ex as an assistant for the company that I now work for. And then he, had, he it was a repost from a girl that he knew named Sid, I love you Sid. I love her so much <laughs> and so then I went to Sid's Instagram and I DM'd her like oh please I was like hey girl like I will see you my resume and she was like send us this email I sent it didn't hear anything back and I just like that was the only thing that I applied for that I applied and then I let it go like I was like if I get it I get it if I don't I don't I didn't worry about it I was, that was really a let go and let God and for me that's always the stuff that ends up working out that's what happened with Starcom too besides the point though so I like literally applied let it go kept moving about my life didn't think about it and then um, one of the managers emailed me and was like, hey, like, come in. We would love to have an interview. I'm thinking it's a real interview, y'all. I show up stressed. I'm, like, nervous. I'm in business professional outfits. They dress casual. So I show up just nervous, nervous, nervous. Literally, I just sit down and talk to them. And they're like, yeah, like, when can you start? Like, can you start tomorrow? And when can you start? Like, you could do the things we need you to do. So I'm like, this is really God. Like, this is what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? For me, that was, that was verification that that was... Because I stopped moving at what I thought was my time. And then everything just happened. And I was like, this is God trying to tell me this is for me. So, yeah, that's what happened. Um, and I got the job. And my tests are going every day. And literally for me, as soon as I got the job, I decided that was my number one focus. So, if you're my friend and you haven't heard from me, I love you. <laughs> but th my life is about me right now. And it's about this job because I know this is what I'm supposed to do. And I'm just so excited to be doing it. So, yeah, basically... I, all that is to say you get this job by knowing people I have all those jobs I applied to now one person called me now one one email came through trying to schedule an interview every single thing that I applied for online was like sorry this position has been filled this position has been filled this position has been filled after I got to know people the more people I got to know they were like oh yeah we have a position like did you did you want to did you did you did, like but I already had a job at that point 
but it was just like once you actually get to know people that's how you get the job so it's like really networking is so key so next is my next topic on how to get a job in the music industry actual advice now instead of my story um network you need to network and i know everybody hates networking something a lot of people don't like doing my uh, i like to network but sometimes i don't feel like it i don't like getting out the house i'd be I'm tired i don't feel like going places i don't like going out but it's so important just go so yeah just go to events you'll meet so many people that you won't even know just talk it's super it's so uncomfortable it's so awkward you just gotta push through it just like hi what's your name hi i'm da 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 what do you do and then they're gonna look at you like why are you talking to me they are that's how they're gonna feel but guess what ignore that because that's not the point and you you know that you're a good person so just go in there be a good person don't be pushy don't be overly extra just be like hi i would like to introduce myself my name's erica what's your name why are you attending this event tonight oh tell me more da, 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 da. and actually pay attention and actually be genuinely interested in what they're talking about otherwise don't do it don't do it just with a motive don't do it trying to get a job do it getting to know them no try to try to find something that you can help them with Instead of looking at it as what can they give me, look at it as what can I give you. Like, I want to learn about you. Is there anything I can help you with? Da, 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 da. Um, so, yeah, attend events. Do the job before you have the job. Um, basically, I try to tell people do the job as if you you already have the job. So, if you want to be an A&R, which a lot of people might not know what that is. It stands for Artist and Repertoire. Um, but it just goes by A&R now. Basically, you need to be doing that now. Like, look for new artists. You should be listening to artists on SoundCloud. You should be going to new artist showcases. You should just be like building those relationships with producers and everything so that when you actually become an a you already have those relationships. You already know how to navigate. You already have some new people that you want to bring to the table. Or if you get the opportunity, you're able to showcase that to people. Um, be willing to work for free. Before I got the job that I have now, which is paid, thank you guys, I was able to quit my last job to take this one on full time. Um, I was going to be working after work for free he just like kind of wanted to test it out didn't really know what i would be doing didn't really just didn't have direction for it really um so he just wanted to like test it out so i was gonna i was like i'll work for free i'll do whatever you need me to do i just want the experience i want to get to know people i want to learn something so i can get in the door um unfortunately i couldn't really take that one on because i took that on about two or three weeks before i got my this job so i couldn't really do much with that one um but just be willing to work for free be willing to get to know people be willing to do the work because it's something you're passionate about don't just quit everything i wouldn't say if, if you need to make money we all need to make money but do what you can and how you can and be willing to do it for free because it's something you're passionate about and it's where you want to end up so it's okay to do work for free in the beginning because nobody knows you nobody knows what you have to offer nobody knows your skill set you could be you could be the best beat maker in the world but if nobody knows you and you don't have any connections to anyone that's not going to matter so you have to be willing to work for free first um take the opportunity when it comes so along with the be willing to work for free that was the opportunity i was like look i'll do what i have to do i'm gonna take it because it's the opportunity i'm gonna do what i have to do period but also with my job that i have now that's paid when i got the opportunity i couldn't say like when i tell you i got the job and i loved my co-workers at starcom so much i still love them so much they're like my family it, it was a more it's the music industry is something I never did before. Start having something I've done, I've done, and I knew what it was. It's a day to day, nine to five, Monday through Friday. I knew exactly what it was. Music industry, whole different ballpark, something I've never done. I was terrified to say goodbye to a life where I know what I'm doing every day and going to a job that is it's something I wanted, but it was something I've never had. So I was still nervous to do something I've never done before, you know. But I had to take that opportunity. I was terrified to tell both of these jobs that i could no longer work for them okay the other manager was so nice he was like it's completely fine like props to you shout out to you i'm excited to see what you do and i was terrified this in the message telling him i couldn't work with him anymore and then my starcom like i was y'all i cannot explain how scared i was to tell them because it was the worst timing the other the other person who worked with their our team was four people well five but four people are underneath our director and the other girl, my supervisor, she was out on disability. So it was literally just me and two associate directors. And I'm, I gotta leave. And she ain't back yet. It was the worst timing. But, and they were stressed, y'all. They were stressed. I ain't gonna lie. They were a little stressed. But, like, everybody was so happy for me. And I went back and visited them recently. And they're just so happy. So happy to hear about what I'm doing. So just don't be, it's, it's scary change is not comfortable but change is important and necessary for growth and for learning and everything else so if you get the opportunity take it don't be afraid 
just take it do it you're probably gonna love it fall in love with the process fall in love with every part of it just do it um and then read ask questions learn so me i'm the kind of person when i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it period it's not if i put my mind to it i'm gonna do it i've been like that all my life i don't know it's just me so i have books um i have i'll grab them one second so i have all you need to know about the music business by don passman this is everyone in the music industry's bible okay so if you read it not if you read it, when you read it, because you need to read it. <laughs> if you want to be in the music industry, just start reading it. Read the part that's important to you. Free publicity, even though everybody gets this book, you need to get it. Um, another one, Artist Management. It's actually a book I think people use in school, but so if you already read it, props to you. I didn't. And I, for a second, I was thinking like, hmm, maybe I want to go into music management. So I was like, let me just get this book and read it. So I have this book, and I have another book called Hitman, but I can't find it right now. And also, your girl is about to take the LSAT. So I have hella LSAT books right now. Um, I'll tell y'all how that goes. So I could eventually, in like five years, I'm going to keep working on my current job and then to go to law school at night. And then eventually one day be a music attorney or something in the entertainment industry. So, yeah, just buy a bunch of books, read, learn, learn everything you can. Whether, even if you don't like to read, that's okay too. That's fine. Ask questions ask everybody around you I annoyed my coworkers. I didn't annoy them they love me they're my people but I I know I was taking time away from them where they could have been doing other things because I needed to know I was like what what is the a &R? what does an a &R do what does an a &R do versus a manager what does what why is there a manager on the label side and a manager that's a personal manager like I don't get it I didn't understand why there's all these managers why there's all these A&Rs for artists I didn't understand things you know what I'm saying and I need to under, understand that not only to do my job but to continue to grow in the industry and be able to assist others when they need it as well so I would just say ask questions you want to learn um do meetings don't be afraid to reach out reach out to other people in your industry they may not know you that's okay ask your manager hey do you know a person do you know people that it will be important like relevant for me to know do you know people i can sit down with do you know anybody my age in this industry that i could sit down with and get advice from for me as a woman it was important for me to meet another woman in the industry and i work with one and an amazing one said and she gives me advice and then it was also important for me to know a woman of color in the industry and i found one and she's a woman of color from st louis like me black woman specifically from st louis like me and so all those things were just important for me to know those kind of people you know um so I would just say, get to know those around you. Don't be afraid to reach out. I, I DM any and everybody on Instagram and I probably should stop, but I will DM anybody and just say like, hi, just want to introduce myself. Would we'll love the chance to meet you. Period. It's not really for networking, but I use it for those purposes. Anyway, so yeah, just don't be afraid to reach out to people. Um, I hope I answered some of the questions people DM me. Y'all DM me all the time, ask me about this job and I love my job. I love my job so much. But I do my job 24-7, y'all. My job is always happening. And people get so offended when I don't respond, when I don't text back, when I don't answer calls. I see everyone's text message. And some of my friends know I will text them back like two days later and be like, oh, my God, I read this. Completely forgot to respond. Sometimes I'll read a message. Literally, my manager will call me. If your name is not my manager's name, not one of my two managers, if your name is not one of my artist's name, if your name... It's not one of my coworkers' names. If you're, if that's not one of your names, you are. I'm sorry. This is, I am 20, I just turned 22. This is number one. So, yeah, if you have questions, like I said, I'm going to do a Q&A video. So, please, 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 please. A Q&A about anything in my life. It could be personal. It could be professional. It could be how I did this bun. I don't know. I just learned how to do this, like, last week. So, y'all might not know how to either. Um, it could be about absolutely anything. Just please comment the questions below. DM me the questions. And I promise I will write them down and I will answer as many questions as I can in the time allotted to me in a video. So, yeah, uh, thumbs up this video if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. That's okay. It ain't hurting my feelings. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at the real Erica F. Twitter, the real Erica F. Uh, and I think that that's all I have for you all today. So, me and talk later. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Oh, and check out all our artist music. Anything I post on my Instagram story, you should be checking it out because it's dope. We got the best artists ever, period. Producers, my writers, all that, period.